Dan Larson here, and I'm at the photo booth with a $10 box. $10 box that Mrs. Toy Galaxy picked up recently at an estate sale. Uh, I don't think we've ever had a video here on Toy Galaxy that was stuff picked up at an estate sale. Yard sales, yes. Flea markets, yes. Birthday loot, vacation pickups. I'm 99%, uh, make that 99.9% .9 sure that this is the first time we've had estate sale stuff. Mainly because we just don't go to a lot of estate sales. It's a uh, format that I do not care for. It's a little too much uh, Wild West. Too many people fighting over same stuff. People just want to run in and grab everything and they... they for those of you who've never been to an estate sale before, basically what it is is uh, there's a house that has a bunch of stuff in it, collection. Usually it's because someone has either died or people are moving and they need to clear stuff out quickly. Perhaps a house has been foreclosed on. Uh, it may be a business that is going out of business. Uh, but you've got a lot of stuff that's in this property that needs to be cleared out quickly. So an assessor comes in, takes a look at the, all the stuff, figures out what will be good for sale, and then they have a cashier there the, the day of the sale. They promote it. They advertise it. And then the morning of the sale, you have all these people lined up outside. They open up the doors. And then it's just a free-for-all. You know, just whatever has a price to it. If, if Stuff doesn't even always have a price tag on it. Sometimes you basically basically you, you have your bag, your, your basket or whatever, and you just fill it up with stuff. And then you go up to the cashier, and they're like, make us an offer. And you make them an offer, and sometimes they take it, and sometimes they negotiate with you and, and try to get a bit more money out of you. They have two goals. One is to get rid of all the stuff. Two is to make as much money as possible. But number one, by the end of the day, they want to be rid of all the stuff. Um, so uh, I, I don't prefer that format. Uh, it's, it gets to be a little too chaotic. Anyway, yeah, Mrs. Toy Galaxy went to a, an estate sale. Uh, whoever, whoever lived at this property had toys and some collectibles and stuff. Uh, she did say that some of the uh, other shoppers got uh, some of the stuff before she could. Uh, looked like they paid a little too much for it. Whatever. She saw the $10 box, grabbed it, uh, didn't even bother to, to really care about what was inside it. She just said, you know what? There's stuff in it that looks familiar. I'm going to grab it. It's 10 bucks. You know, not, not a lot of risk in that. So we're going to go through it right now. Let's see what's inside. I would dump it, uh, but... Uh, I have, obviously, the, the box is open-topped here. I know you've seen what's in it, but uh, I don't want to dump it right out. There's some stuff in here that's breakable, so I'm going to pull the breakable stuff out first. First up, we have, uh, uh, this is a uh, digital, uh, who's this by? Uh, Tomy, 1978, uh, digital derby raceway uh, game. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can make out the cars there. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Uh, there's no battery cover. It should work. The uh, connections look look pretty clean here, so um, I don't know. That's possible. I've seen that one before. I, I don't have a lot of memory. It's not something I had a kid, as a kid, so I don't really have a lot of connection to it, but it's a pretty cool game. Um, this was the piece that when she sent me uh, photographs, I was like, yes, <laughs> that's a nice pickup. This is from uh, Space, Sheriff, Space Sheriff Gavon. It is uh, one of the original, if not the original, Metal Hero, uh, sort of like a Sentai Power Rangers kind of show uh, out of Japan. And uh, this is a nice little, you know, it's a uh, die cast and rubber. Um, I think, I'm not 100% positive, I think he's missing a little top piece of his head here. But otherwise, it's in really nice, uh, really, really nice condition. Decals are still on here. The chrome is still chromey. Uh, it's not really rusted or anything. He turns into like a UFO. Um, these pieces fold in somehow. Uh, this is not a piece that I've ever owned before, so I don't know exactly how it changes. I don't want to force anything. Uh, but then these two pieces would close back together. Uh, and then there's like a bigger UFO piece that he would attach to and be deployed from. But uh, I, this is a pretty cool piece. I, I definitely want to take a, a closer look at that. You'll, you'll see that show up on my Instagram, uh, Toy Galaxy, uh, and some other stuff. We got uh, Thundercats, Vulture Man. He's in pretty good shape. Constructicon, Mixmaster. Actually, he's in really good shape too. He's got uh, really nice chrome and uh, his uh, Decepticon. All of his stickers here, are still here. Uh, hopefully, his uh, gun and his his uh, Devastator parts are in here as well. We'll see. All right, you know what? I'm just. I think those are the the more breakable parts. I don't remember this guy's name, other than that he's a GoBot, and I don't think his uh, top propeller's in here. Let me slide this stuff back and see if we can't just dump this stuff out. These were, This was the real piece that I wanted to make sure that didn't get damaged in any way. All right. Now we can get a good look at this stuff. Ah, look at it. We got a... Uh, this is... Batmobile, obviously. The 66 Batmobile. This is Corgi uh, Jr.'s uh, really nice condition uh, Batmobile. You can see Batman in there. Can you see Batman in there? 
that ends in there. But this is in uh, really nice shape. I'm surprised it's not rusted. It's uh, got plenty of spring left to it. The little uh, bat symbol is still on the back here. Really nice. Got some Star Wars movie cards. Empire, Empire, Empire. Empire. I guess these are all from Empire. They're all from Empire. I've got full sets of these somewhere, so these are neat, but nothing spectacular. We got another Gobot. I don't remember his name. I'm gonna go with Scorp. Is it Scorp? He looks like a Scorp. And what else we got here? We've got trucks. I do not collect cars in any fashion. It's a nice little tank. Let me move this up a little bit here. Give myself a little more room to work with. I like airplanes, I collect airplanes, but uh, not this kind. It's a cool little airliner. Oh, here we got a little, uh, uh, you guys uh, You guys will know better than me. I don't know exactly who this is. I'm gonna say Robotech, but somebody's probably gonna yell at me and say Macross. Uh, he is given the, uh, He's, uh, he is doing finger guns here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but, uh... He's not, he doesn't look broken. He's missing his legs, but he's not broken broken. I'm not sure if this is from Thunderbol uh, Thunderbirds or not. Cool drill. Another car. F-14, that would be cool, but his tail is busted off. It's busted. F-16, missing his missiles. F-4 Phantom, zebra-striped. Let me get all these cars out of the way. Tractor, train, army guy, cars. Oh, that's a pretty cool car here. We got, uh, this is a 1977 uh, Hot Wheels. Uh, funny car with uh, Human Torch on it. That's pretty neat. Got another P38 Lightning Bolt. Uh, excuse me, Lightning, not Lightning Bolt. Uh, propellers are busted off. More cars, I don't care about cars, 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 truck. Got a uh, Empire Strikes Back uh, Hoth Rebel Trooper uh, backpack from the accessory pack. Oh, here's this dude's leg. That is unfortunately busted, so no fixing this uh, Macross guy. Is it Macross? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Um, nice love van. It's got a heart on the top here. What does it say on the side? No, it just says Tootsie Toy. About that stuff. Some more army guys. Cannon. Cars, 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 cars. Everybody in this stuff. Some more cards. Oh, hey, Vader. That's cool. More cars. Oh, look at this. This is a uh, Shogun Warriors. It goes to Raideen. It is the, uh, oops. It's the little uh, chest rocket. I'm sure it has an actual name. Uh, I don't know what the specific name of it is. Uh, but I do know that the repros of these are all over eBay, and I hate that kind of stuff. Um, I understand wanting to, you know, refurbish uh, your and restore your Shogun Warrior, but uh, even the original ones don't cost that much. I know there's two different versions of these. I don't know which version this is, um, but that's neat to see in there. That's a cool thing. So we'll put this with the cool stuff. These cars want to beat it. So far, this is the cool pile. Let's go pile over here. Crap, I don't care about. Oops, you're over here in the cool pile. Actually, you're in the cool pile. Human Torch car. All this stuff I don't care about can go over here. Cars I don't care about. Batmobile can stay over there. You can stay over there. You're over here. You're over here. You're over here. What do we got left in here? More cars. This cool little hovercraft thing. Helicopter. Another airplane with no propellers. Another funny car. Lego piece or two. Car with some motorcycles. Car. Army guy. Van. I was hoping for some more toys. What is this? Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm just can't make out what that is. This I, I think I have my autofocus turned off. This is a uh, diecast uh, miniature. I don't know if there was an actual game that went along with this or what. This is Stratos from uh, He-Man. Looks like I don't think these came pre-painted, but uh, looks like some paint has actually been applied here. That's a neat little thing. Would have been cool if more of those were in here, but I'll take that. I've never had any of the He-Man ones before. And that looks like. A little hovercraft with a gunner in there. Oops. Actually, that's more of like a swamp boat. Airplane. Uh, oh, oh. That just might be, I don't know if you can see that, might be the best piece in here. That is uh, Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight, Kenner, 1983, uh, Return of the Jedi, gun. Uh, that's really, really nice, because of all the pieces that are missing, he comes with his cloak, his gun, and his lightsaber, either the blue or the green. 
and uh, the gun is always missing, and sometimes that front barrel part is also always broken off. So, really cool to see that. Really cool to have that. I'm not, uh, I have to pull out my vintage Star Wars figures and see if, uh, see if I need a gun. That is great. It's not even cracked or anything. Awesome. Truck. Oh, this is a piece from, uh, I think that's from Crossbows and Catapults. <laughs> Somebody's crotch. Whose crotch is this? Looks like G.I. Joe. Nope. I can't tell. I can't tell whose crotch that is. If you know whose crotch that is, let me know. It's, uh, the, his actual crotch piece is broken off anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna have to toss it. Little tank, and I think this is a vintage, uh, G.I. Joe. Or, but I'm not 100% positive, because I don't really have a deep knowledge base of, uh, vintage G.I. Joe stuff. Anyway, all in all, uh, you know, for ten bucks, that's not bad. This is not bad. I'll take, you know, I'll take Human Torch Car, Batmobile, uh, Luke Jedi Gun, Stratos Diecast, Gobot, Thundercat, Constructicon, Shogun Warriors Arrow, uh, other Gobot, and then this Space Sheriff uh, Gavin Dragon, uh, and then this uh, electronic game back here. Hopefully that works. That'd be really neat. I'll take all that for ten bucks. I would have spent all that. Uh, I would have spent ten bucks on that easy at uh, at a flea market, even going into it knowing what I was getting. So that's really cool. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad she took a chance going to that estate sale. I'm glad she saw the stuff. Glad she paid the ten bucks. Really great batch of stuff. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a like, hit subscribe, let me know in the comments below if you've ever been to an estate sale, and if you did, did you pick up anything cool? Later.